Hey, what's up guys? So tonight we're out here in a parking garage and we're gonna be doing a little bit of flying with the Pavo. We got a 3S battery loaded into it, a little lighter weight pack, 550 milliamp, and we're just gonna be flying around. So we could do. I've been practicing a little bit in the simulator, so I've been getting a little better and I've been practicing with the drone, but let's just sesh around here for a little bit and see what happens. All right, so we got the Pavo up on the launch pad there. Let's get the lights on. I was just playing around with a uh, vertical filming on this. So we got the camera set back to horizontal. It's kind of hard to, to fly this thing in vertical, but let's get up, start filming in acro, pop it up. See what we could do. Bring it over here for the camera. Some of you guys were saying that you wanted us to try and film the drone more instead of my hands. It's a little bit hard sometimes to get the drone filmed when it's flying around at a million miles an hour and the cameraman doesn't exactly know where I'm flying at whatever moment. But in an area like this, we can get some shots. Definitely getting a little bit better at orbiting. See my low flips. Ooh. My flips in acro mode are a little bit boo. I got way too used to flipping in horizon mode. Bad. There we go. I'm pretty close to the wall there. Ever since I did the FCC unlock on this drone and I got this iFlight patch antenna, really have no transmission issues. Whereas before, I was having straight transmission issues. Like flying through here would have been a big struggle. Let's try that flip again. Well, I went a little bit too high up. Let's try that again, a little bit lower. That's a tragedy. Just make sure she's not loose, because I swear, every time I crash this drone, it loosens up. It is loose, whatever. I'll show you guys the turtle mode though. I just got, if you guys want to see how to set up turtle mode on this drone, I'll link the video down below. We just dropped a video on how to, uh, how to set up turtle mode, but you just turn it on. I made turtle mode this switch 
arm the drone, and then flip it over. Simple. And then you take off and fly as normal. I'm going to tighten it up though. We'll be right back. So on the Pavo, the way it's held together is there's the bottom, there's the flight controller there, and then there's this screw that goes all the way through. And for some dumb reason, they use these rubber grommets and these stupid plastic, um, these stupid plastic nuts. And these stupid plastic nuts always come down. So what I gotta do is use my tweezers and tighten them, to make it come back up and hold the frame still. So I'm gonna very slowly do that and we'll be back when it tightened up. All right, so we switched spots up a little bit. We got the Pavo tightened. We're on the other side of the parking garage now. I think it's a little bit better over here. I don't know, we'll see. We got the Pavo launch pad. If you guys are interested in getting one of these launch pads, we'll have the link for them down in the description. Got them up on my Etsy store. Load that up on there. I got a 650 milliamp hour battery on there now. We're all linked up. Start recording. Oh, we got arm up. Start recording. And we're out. I got the ISO limit down on this right now, so it looks a little bit better for you guys. It's a little bit harder to fly on. Things a little bit darker. Right upstairs, simple. Almost no signal drop with that too. Ooh. All right, back to us. See if I can whip it up the stairs. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. Come up on the stairs. Come on. Oh, I got that. Oh, there we go. A little bit rough, but we got that. Fly right over to the other side of the garage. Low orbits. Definitely getting better at orbiting. See if we can come back down the stairs. I might not got this. Let's see if I got this. No, I don't got it. I might have had that, but. Honestly, the Pava might be a little bit loose after I bumped the guard on the wall back there on the way up. Oh, that's a crash. Let's go get that. Actually, no. Let's try turtle mode. Simple. And we flipped over. Might have broke something. So yeah, I don't think we broke anything. All we did was knock the battery out. Damn. Actually, now we got a little bit of prop damage. But, actually, it's not even really loose. Let's send it back up. That bad boy back on there. And those props are gonna be a little bit boofed, but let's run it anyway. The light's probably disconnected. Oh, no, they didn't. Wasn't bad at all. So now I don't have the launch pad, it's over there. So what we're gonna have to do is put in Horizon, 
take off, record, and then we'll put it in acro. Bro, I'm an idiot. All right, so I threw it up with with the damaged propeller and uh, didn't fly so well. We threw it up and I hit a little dive back down and this flying weird crashed it again. So now it's it's loose. We're gonna have to tighten it back up and I'll be back in a second. All right, after that, complete and total failure. We got the drone tightened back up. We got a fresh prop on there because I had a prop that was completely destroyed. A big gash in it. I'll be back. Set that bad boy up on the launch pad, plug her in, and let's get ripping. All right, so Pavo's linked up now. Let's get her back in the air. Hopefully, we got no more crashes. Arm it up, start recording. Flies like new again. Just gotta tighten up those goofy screws. It's the only complaint I have about this drone. Everything gets loose. On my other one that I had, I had it locked tighted up and it was a little bit better. I think it would last a couple more flights before it would loosen up, but shit will always loosen up. There we go. Set upstairs this way. Having no problems with signal though, at all. All this concrete. Some little spins, see if we can't hit a little flip. Yep, no more crashes. That was not the cleanest flip, but no more crashes. It's actually a horrible flip. This battery's just about done. Bring it in for a smooth landing. Wasn't the smoothest of landings, but it wasn't that bad. Let's see if it loosened up at all. Because what you really need to do to tighten it is take the O3 off and make sure all the Everything is, is good because the one that I can't tighten with the O3 on it is, I don't know if you guys can see, but this front screw right there, this one, I can't tighten that one because I can't get to it. So I have to take the O3 off to tighten it. So everything else on the drone right now seems to be rather tight except for that one. So as you guys can see, the prop guards can, can go up. So when I get home, I got to take it apart and fix that. It's not too big of a deal, but it's it's pretty annoying. But it's the only complaint I have about this drone. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Um, that was a good little little sesh in the parking garage. We had a couple nasty crashes and loosened up the drone, but nothing. And a little tightening and some maybe some Loctite when I get home can't fix. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.